One of the things I often wonder is when people start building the first full stack app, what is the number one reason they choose something like MySQL or Postgres? Of course, the first thing that comes to mind is MySQL or even Postgres. They're both open source. And the reason it's appealing is it's because it's free. But once you deploy that database, whether it's in a hyperscaler or a provider, like let's say Planet Scale, then of course you start paying for it. So what I wanted to do was to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of single store, which is a MySQL wire protocol compatible database against MySQL, both running on cloud. On the left-hand side, you see this is the database on MySQL and it is running on planet scale. And on the right-hand side, it is the same data, the same table, the same SQL, but it's running in single store. So when I do a quick select count from this table, which is line item, as you can see, it has a total of 19, roughly about 19 and a half million rocks. Similarly, if I run the same query here on planet scale, my SQL instance, I can see it's already taking a little bit longer to respond, roughly about six seconds, but it's the same value that you see here. Now this table itself, line item, is it's a simulation of what would happen if somebody made a purchase and if there was a line item. So if I were to do a very simple query that says, do a sum on the quantity of the line items, do some average, do a count, and then do a sort and interval, but add a filter of data between such and such. So I'm going to do this is run this query first against the planet scale MySQL instance. And as you can see over here on the left hand side of the screen, it is started to run. It's already taken 10 seconds. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I am going to take the same query and I'm going to run it again single store. And as you can see, this query ran in one second and 519 milliseconds over here. And it's already done. But here, Planet Scale and MySQL is still running. It's been about 37 seconds. Uh, one thing I do want to call out is within single store, it has a three tier architecture. So depending on how much you use or you run a query after the first query, it gets faster and faster because it starts from in memory, then it goes to the disk and finally to object storage if you're not running that query as much. So I'm going to run this a few more times. And every time I run it, you would see on my window over here is that it's still roughly about one second. It's a little bit better, but it's still roughly about one second and a few milliseconds. So I'm going to run this again. That's a total of three times. And now it looks like my SQL is finally done. And the same query, it got the same results back, of course, it took a minute and 25 seconds. Whereas here at single store, I ran this a few times, and each time it took about a second and a, maybe a few milliseconds. And here, both the tables are unoptimized. So you can definitely get a lot more performance on both, but that requires some special knowledge and skills. And if you were just building a simple full stack app, and you were running this query again and again on MySQL versus single store, you would see the difference right away. So here's the kicker though. What I wanted to show next is when I look at the planet scale, the infrastructure I'm running on is actually four virtual CPU and 32 gigs of RAM for which I have to pay $700. On the single store, the performance that you just saw which were several orders of magnitude faster, is running on a free shared tier. Now, of course, with the free shared tier, you get only one database and there is a 
limit to the total disk usage, but it's still free for life. It is shared database. That means in single store, you are running this compute along with 5,000 other users. Even then, it's outperforming a $700 a month planet scale, exact same table, exact same SQL query, exact same structure on, um, on your data. So if you're still using MySQL for your full stack application, I'd love to understand what are some of the reasons and would definitely like to chat more about this. Thank you for watching this video.